Starbucks is all locked off, only one person allowed in the lobby at a time, placing a mobile order. All in good time. At least get my coffee. So I got my Starbucks. This is the first Starbucks in two months. A little over two months now. I haven't taken a drink yet. I kind of want to build up the anticipation. But yeah, a little bit different procedure. Place a mobile order, walk into the lobby one person at a time. They give you your order and walk back out again. Everybody else lines up outside six feet apart. But it's fairly quiet downtown. The, uh, the whole uh, self-isolation thing is going on still. So that's keeping uh, keeping people away as well, but it's uh, still pretty quiet. It's kind of nice, and it's not a bad looking day out. So I figured if it's this quiet and I could keep my distance from everybody, it'd be nice to get out and get some fresh air in a different neighborhood. Kind of wondering as I was walking down Spring Garden here. What happened to all the panhandlers? I know even if they were out, there's not much, not many people they could ask for change or a cigarette. I hope they're all being taken care of, getting the help they need. It's gotta be an extra rough time for them. Now this here, this has to be one of my favorites. This time of day, early morning, it's nice and still and quiet. I'm lucky enough to know what it's like to, uh, to come into a port. And I imagine anybody else uh, that's uh, you know, been in the Navy or sailed uh, around the world knows that that feeling when you come into a port it's uh, that a smell right now, that spring air and the sea, it's just, I wish you could smell that. But that feeling when you come into a port, it's uh, just so, such a, it's hard to describe. I often uh, come down on mornings like this and get a little nostalgic and uh, think about my uh, grandmother when she was young and she came to Halifax as a young girl, I think she was 19 years old when she came and sailed right into the harbor here. Probably didn't see much of Halifax, probably right off the boat and processed onto the train and off to, off to Toronto. But this would have been it. This, this would have been uh, where, where she first came into, uh, into Canada. And that feeling that you have when you come into a port, coupled with the fact that that port you're coming into is your new life, it must have been an amazing feeling. Along with a little scary and exciting. She was here for several years, then moved back to Halifax when her aunt or was it a grandmother uh, her aunt got sick and she had to move back to help take care of her what kind of adventure did you go on when you were 19 you know myself I went out and joined the Navy That was an adventure for sure. I would love to do it all again. I'd do it a little different, but not much. You know, the one thing I would do different, I, I would probably do it all the same, but I would party less and see more. <laughs> There's a few uh, older guys in our uh, in our platoon 
and I wish I could remember how old they were because you know we were all 18, 19 years old, and uh, and these these guys they were they were joining and they were you know they they, they seemed old to us, but probably probably much younger than I am now, but. You know, it's a, uh, what a time in your life to, to go out and, you know, and the whole world is just wide open there for you. Now it's actually kind of nice. But it got me thinking a lot this morning after uh, talking about my grandmother and, you know, when she came over when she was younger. It must have been uh, must have been really something at that age and that time to be able to go and do something like that. What a what an amazing adventure or feeling that must have been. You know, and it was it was a different world then. It was a it was a lot of work. You know, very a lot of hardships compared to what we got now. You know, both her parents died when she was nine years old, I believe, from tuberculosis. You know, it was, a, it was an exciting time in, you know, a young person's life to be able to go out and do something like that. I'd like to do something like that again. I need a new adventure. That's what I need. A new adventure.